Hey, it's me, your ASMR friend, just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. Yes, we are back at it. Space Scavenger. Well, I've done a few more runs now on my Switch Lite version. Now I'm back in my docked mode, which kind of sucks because I unlocked some new paint. But I don't have that in this version. But that's not the point. So, now that I've learned a few things, I think that maybe, maybe we can get all the way and finish this. So, let's do it. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Space Scavenger, the roguelike set in space where you control spaceship, and along the way you will find equipment parts that you can build and expand to your ship, obviously making it bigger and better. But... You know, the bigger you get, the bigger target you become, but, you know, you get some good stuff, so you gotta, you gotta factor in what, what's good for your run, you know? I'd not, that just completely skip scanning that planet, so yeah, that's also, you gotta scan each planet before you can move on. And um, put that increase maximum health at the back. I didn't explain that I got the spear, but that's. You probably already see that now. And we'll warp to the next. Ooh. The nice thing about the spear is uh, it's quick like that. Doesn't cost ammo and energy, so you can just keep doing that. You can probably hear my controller when I do that. I mean, especially if I put it up to the mic, huh? Okay, do I even know where I'm going? So as you can see on the bottom left on the mini-map, there are two planets for us to scan. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. We're halfway there. I bet there's more enemies up there, so... Let's just go check it out, and if they are, we'll just keep clearing them out. It's nice because in the early rounds, even with just your small little vessel, and maybe your one attachment, you feel quite powerful, but as you progress, things get more difficult. A sword. Well, here. I might as well attach it since I have a spot open. But, um, see, I'm using my L, LZ to do that. Very close range, but it is, at least early on, you know, pretty effective. So, I suppose actually for now it's not such a bad one. But, typically I don't want to, you know, with such close range, I don't really want to be in that situation in later rounds. I want to keep, I want to try to keep my distance later on. Oh my goodness, he is coming upon me. 
That was your mistake, buddy, not mine. I quite like the spear. And again, um, that's what I like about roguelikes with these pickups. You know, you kind of gotta roll with what it gives you. And you, you never quite know what you're gonna get on each run. Sometimes you'll get, you know, nice pickup after nice pickup, and sometimes you'll get things that you don't really want, but you gotta roll with the punches. So, you get a little bit of health with those, so those are pretty good to find if you can, even if you don't get equipment with it. Did we check over here for anything? Uh huh. See? The crystals. Very important. And we're done here. Let's warp, shall we? Now, you'll hear it a little bit, the music in the background, but obviously when you're playing it, I find it to be. Pretty nice, pretty relaxing. Um, although, of course, when you have tons of enemies swarming you, you're not exactly going to be paying attention to it, but it'll be there for you. And um, of course, I can switch to my capsule. So I can get some distance with these guys on that. Which I think I'm gonna do. Sorry, sword. So yeah, if you haven't watched my other videos or any videos with this, using L and R you can switch between weapon types. See, right now, I have a spear on both of them. Now originally, when I kind of saw that, I thought that because you can find multiple of an item. So I thought, oh, okay, that's how, if you get two spears, that's how you can use them. But that actually isn't the case. Uh, each weapon will only just have one command. So if you have two spears, it's just one button to press to hit them, to use them. And I freaking love that feature. Now, if you have like a, a shotgun, so if you had like two shotguns, you know, you'll burn through your ammo quicker. So you got to be mindful of that, but it's an option. Oh, I didn't even realize these rocks are here. Okay. All right. Let's just making little mistakes here that. It's not bad. Oh man, those things are really messing me up now. Oh, okay. I kind of forgot about that. Why was I not using my capsule? Yeah. As soon as I don't have a gun, I'm not even going to attach it. Oh, well, hmm, okay. I need to just stop letting them get so close to me. What did I just say? What did I just freaking say? Crystal from here. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's just scan this planet, shall we? Once we scan it, enemies will be revealed. And now we can go hunt them down.
and start up top, shall we? You, not today. Mm -mm. Another crystal, yep. Oh, give me something nice. <laughs> well, I could do a wield my sword. I'll put that there. I'm gonna put my sword in the back there. So now I'll show you what I was talking about. So you'll see my ZL is my sword now. Just one button. And you can hit both those at the same time. So that's kind of an interesting uh, interesting setup. Sword in the back, sword in the front. But still a little bit too close range for me. Although it's not bad. What? What? Get that crystal. Sword's actually not so bad. But man, they get close, and that's kind of freaky. See? Okay, we're going back to caps. And then if you look in the bottom right, that's where my health is. Just went down another 10 points. Now we're at 40, which is kind of lower than you want to be at in this part. But All right. Was there anything up here? See? Yes. Another crystal. An engine part, that will be nice. Put that on that guy. That adds thrust, so I'll be a little faster. And we're out of here. Alright. Just one more. One more area to get through, and then we can go to the shop. I forgot, I should just be holding my spear when I go into these battles like that. As I don't have to worry about energy or ammo with them. Can we take that guy? There we go. Boom. Ooh, yes, okay. something that I like. Oh, and here's what I found out. You'll see. I thought that this would pause it. I thought that this pauses it. But if you can look, it's actually just slowed down very much. And that guy coming at me super slow, he can still hurt me if I'm not careful. So, usually when you're playing this game and you're going fast anyway, that's not going to be an issue, but... You know, if you are taking too long, or if you do it in the middle of a place where you shouldn't be doing it, it could be bad news bears for you. Oh. Okay. And, uh, in my runs, I don't know how, how many I've done. Not, not a whole lot. Okay, hold on. Hold that thought. Now, I'm going to move this beam back one. I'm going to move this just for sake of size and put that one on the other side and now I have two spears and this is where the fun begins. Ammo crate. Oh. Okay. Oh shoot. They're going to pop up. Be a hazard. Um, but the point I was going to say in building these spaceships, and what I think they've done a really good job at, is that if there's pros and cons to you can build it 
kind of long and narrow or you know wide and or you you know you kind of want to try for a pancake which you can do um but being more narrow is nice you know moving vertically like that but wide you can get you know more oh my gosh not today you know you can get kind of more things across and uh so i just like that both have good variety to them that one isn't necessarily better than the other at least what i've experienced through my runs Mm. Man, I can't keep doing that. Cannot keep doing that. Another crystal. We are having a good run finding these crystals, I must say. something I found out and uh, it was in plain sight like the whole freaking time so if you watched my other two videos or if you know this game and you played it um, when you find items you can either attach them but if you run out of room you can put them in your cargo but if you run out of room in your cargo you could let them go into the ether into space which is what I was doing so when I didn't have space, I just left him behind. But if you look in the top left, next to exit, there's a recycle button right there in plain sight. And I never thought, what does that do? What does this do? Well, I'll show you. If you hold down X, boom, you get another crystal. And since I don't have any Thing that requires ammo get rid of both of those so now i got two more crystals to make a total of 12. this was a game changer and that's why i feel more confident about completing a run finishing the game beating it now the hard part what to buy you know at first I'm gonna repair for one blue crystal, get 25 health. I'm gonna do it again and again. And maybe I'll hold on to that. Hmm. I don't like these swords, right? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep using them, so we are gonna get rid of them. We are gonna recycle them. We're gonna be responsible. We're not just gonna throw them away. We're gonna recycle them. And I'll buy this beam. Beam will add maximum health. And I don't know about you, but I like the sound of that. What's that? Oh, okay. Well, shoot. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it though. Large solar panel will increase energy regeneration. I'll put it up there. Why not? So I got four crystals left. You know what? Mm. I'm thinking about the stinker. <laughs> it's kind of a nice trap. You know what? Yeah. We're gonna do it. And we'll put it on the left side there. So stinker leaves gas and if bad guys go through that, it's not too kind to them. So it can be a good kind of an offense and a defense weapon, you know, you can go in there and disperse it and get out, or if they're chasing you, disperse it and get some distance. Alright, so I feel pretty good about everything so far. Now let's go to the 
gassy side of the galaxy. Gassy side of the galaxy. It's not a place you want to go. At least with that title, I wouldn't want to go. Okay. Quantum shield. Okay, I think that's new. I don't think I've seen that before. And that's what's fun too, is uh, when you find new things. Blocks enemy projectiles. Yes, please. And it looks like. That you can add more attachments later. So, you know what? I'm just going to do it preemptively. I'm going to put that in the back. I'll put that up front. That's nice. I haven't even really felt the effect, but hey, it's a blue shield. You can see it. I can see it. Actually, I'm going to switch back to capsule. Oh my god. I freaking love this shield. I wonder if it's like a thing, if it just takes too many hits. this bin on my runs. I freaking like that. These, well, okay. Not when they get in my personal space. Crossbow. And then another shield. Okay. I'm not going to use this crossbow. It's worth two crystals too, so I'm selling that. Another shield. Put it, put it behind. Well then, if I'm doing that, I'm gonna put that up there. I'm gonna put this beam up here for a second. I'm gonna move my solar panel up, put my beam down here, and my shield there so we got a little more coverage on the back end. You gotta cover your back end, you know? Oh, gosh. I like these dual spears. Booster. There we go. Now we're gonna pick up some speed with that. Scan the one planet in the area. Oh man, not bad at all. Only three, three bad guys left. Maybe three now. Sludge slows you down, but it won't stop me. All right. One more down. A few more to go, but making good progress. Didn't take any damage on that last round. Did you see that? Still have 189 of 190. But yeah, I wonder, I wonder what it takes then for this shield to go down. Okay. That was a theme last time. I mean, as soon as I started talking about how nice these things were, then I get freaking hurt. So now all that talk and I went, I lost 80 freaking health in that exchange. Still alive, still moving. Oh, okay. Well, what? As soon as I mentioned it, again. Now it really messed us up. Okay. Just means we have to play a little more defensively. Okay. I don't like you. You get out of here. Okay. I'm wondering if I should... Maybe I should get my stinker. See how they like it. Mmm. Well, 
Wow. How quickly things turn. Wow. Okay. Three health. Let's scan this boy. Hmm. Well, this just makes everything a lot more difficult, doesn't it? Go to capsule. Oh man. Hopefully I can find like a health pickup. Because freaking one of them sneezes on me, I'm done. There's so many left. So many left. Okay. I'll take that crystal, but if I can't make it to the shop alive, it's not gonna do me anything. Okay. set off my own trap. Oh wow, I wonder if you guys will hear that freaking loud airplane in outer space. Wink wink. Okay. Let's clear these ones out. Oh, I hate these ones. Okay, here we go. Two more over here. Okay. Before I do that, I'm just going to give this a, a breather, because uh, what have I literally said every freaking time? So let's reverse it. I'm doing horrible. I'm doing so bad. Really, really bad. Reverse psychology. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Do not bump into that. This nice shield. I had two spears, but then I kept saying about how nice these pickups were, and I jinxed myself. Mm. Man. Shrug it off. Now how many do I? Have? Oh, come on. So, I am part Swedish, so I like Swedish. Darkness is kind of cool. It's got the kind of Sith Lord vibe to it. Zebra's kind of cool. I like blue skies a lot because that one just, there's something kind of calming about it. But then uh, Red Cabin is cool because Red Cabin made this game. And I like that they're like, hey, you know what? Heck yeah, we're going to make a paint of our own. So... I applaud them for doing that. And it's a cool color. Looks good. Black and yellow, black and yellow. I know it says gold. Black gold, but yeah. Alright. Well. You know what we have to do, right? Gotta 
dude. All the way from the beginning. But that's okay, right? Because now we know what not to do, right? After like 20 some runs, maybe more. Got a battery pickup already, all right? I'm not gonna mention how nice that is. Look at that. See, this time now I'm gonna go a little wide with that. Look at, wow, another pickup? Okay. They're being really generous. But I'm not even gonna, not even gonna mess with the sword. I'm selling it right away. But I will take that thrust. Thank you. Alright. So, through my runs, what I realized too was, uh, that it pays to, to be aggressive. You know, when you're smart about it, not just freaking going right into them. Put that armor on right now. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Taking some heavy damage. Hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. That's something I've, I, I randomly do. I'll spin real fast just because I can. But if you're not in control of that, it kind of looks obnoxious. Oh man. Hmm. I'm not so sure about the wide build though. I know, I was just talking about how, like, both have their merits, but I think I still try to keep mine as slender as possible. But, you know, eventually, if you get a lot of body attachments, you know, you kind of have to go a little bit wider if you want to, you know, maintain certain integrity of your, your ship. I'm honestly kind of thinking about it. Here's what I like to do. I'll show this. At any point, you're not locked into this. So you, at any point, you can detach and mess with your build. And, you know, it seems like, well, yeah, of course I would do that. But, like, that was a decision made. And I'm glad they made that decision. So yeah, as you can see, I am going to go with a more slender run. Put that at the back there. Actually, no, that's not. I'll put you right there. Put you in the back. Put you on that side. Oh yeah, okay. It's looking nice now. Ooh, here we go. The hailstorm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, am I not hitting that? Let's see, so... I don't know if you can see. The hailstorm, it'll only face this way. I can't make it turn to face right also i apologize if you hear outside noises in my apartment i mean my spaceship so i, don't know. I like shooting forward so i'm gonna put that in the back but let's see the range on that okay that's not so bad still still get some pretty good distance. All right, see, we're already into stage three. I know what you're thinking. That's what you say, and then you get hurt. We're not going to get hurt this time. No. We're going to 
persevere. <laughs> That's all right. A little, little bump. This hailstorm's pretty nice, isn't it? energy regeneration so you'll see on the where it says ZR on the bottom there this gun uses energy so you can see the yellow circle is depleting and when I got that regeneration now it goes it'll regenerate faster hence its description of increases energy regeneration So that's the thing, like, your capsule won't necessarily blow up that rock, and the hailstorm's not going to do it either. So those blue crystals that are right there for the taking, you can't take. But, uh, you know, c'est la vie. Alright, let's scan this point in it. Find out where all of them are. So, yeah, there's a lot. Hmm. You know what? Okay. okay. Well, I'm gonna go over here, get away from them for a little bit. Yeah, I'm going back to the drawing board with this. I'm gonna do it. Going back to the wide. Put that there. That on the other side. And boom. See? Just like that. Got a whole different ship now. And my uh, hailstorm will get a little bit more distance. It's closer up on the ship. Okay. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Of course it will. As you can see, there's just... Why am I going around my planet like I've already... Like I haven't already scanned it? Oh. So yeah, you can get some cool combinations with your weapons, you know? and cons of it where a hailstorm uses energy if I found a shotgun or something that will obviously use ammo you can keep finding ammo but you can run out of ammo okay. all right not bad clearing them out doing good A little tap. Boom. All right. Wait a minute. That was the third one. 
Okay. Kind of lost track. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Two planets, but it looks like a smaller sector. Oh, it's a little baby planet. Did I not? Did I miss? Okay. Okay. Okay, we're in trouble. Houston. Houston. Okay. There we go. Just gotta get back to the basics. of it. Ooh. Any one of those want to hit them? There we go. But let's check up here. Yes, yeah, see? There we go. <sighs> yeah, right. If, yeah, if I didn't like the sword, definitely not go like the saw. I don't know if I had that one in a previous one. I'll just show you really quick. I mean, you know. So there's that. It will destroy rocks. I mean, there's that. But look at how close. Like, it would hit the other part of my ship if I got too close, like that, with someone. Um, so, yeah. No, thank you. I'm just going to recycle it right now, because I know I'm not going to use it. Alright, let's go to the shop. As of right now, we have three blue crystals. Uh, a far cry from what? What did we have, like 12 last time? Solar panel, blocks damaged, yes, yes, thrust, okay, I'm getting rid of one of these. Now we have four, and as much as I really like those, I'm getting rid of this one too. So now that I have five blue crystals. And we're not going to heal because we can't. But the risk versus reward. This battle drone. Yeah. That's 100% going with me right there. And I'll put it there too, actually. That looks good. I have found on my runs that having that battle drone is super nice. Like, actually helpful. So, it'd be very difficult for me to pass up on attaching that one. I like that with these ones, you can rotate before you attach. So now I got a little extra health and I get to keep my thrusts. That's nice. Look at that. It's like if you're not, you know, if you take your ship serious, this would look like crazy. But I love the kind of quirky builds you can do. It's like no other ship looks like this. I like it. Mm. 
It'll be interesting to see if... So they have different models that you can do. Uh, I showed that in a previous video. Uh, but for me, like the original just looks the best. It looks kind of like that classic spaceship. But yeah, I'll be interested if they if they add more content to this. Um, different models and such. And maybe they'll grow on me. And maybe getting different paint colors will make those ones kind of more appealing. Or maybe just like, uh, you know, after you first meet someone, there are things about them you m might not necessarily like, but over time you kind of grow to appreciate that about them. So who knows? Maybe after, after a while of playing this, I'll look at those models and say, yeah, you know what? I want to do that one. Where I want to do this one. Observatory. Scanning planets is easier and grants bonuses. Well, sir. I'm going to get rid of one of my thrusters. For the, oh, wait, what am I doing? If you can attach. Yeah, okay. We're doing that for sure. But now, that's probably about as wide as I want my ship to get. Oh. See, that's where having a narrow ship would be nice. It's hard to tell. So, like, you can kind of see if I move up right now, it kind of looks like I'm moving forward. But this is actually, like, strafing right kind of a thing. This is looks like I'm going down, but I'm actually strafing left. Well, now I'm spinning right. And so, this is forward. Well, you can see the the white cursor. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my, my guy's like, I don't have time for this. I gotta kill these people. These monsters. These aliens. Oh yeah, the sword. Recycle. Hey, look at that. One crystal. No, no, no. Spiked armor. Let's do it. Oh, oh. See, and you'll see, because this one blocks the top of what this one would be. That's where, you know, your, your configuration comes into play, where if I had, like, another beam to separate that, or if I put that down, you, you know, opens things up. But... That's alright, I, I like the way this is built so far, so I'm gonna keep it. Kinda forgot that I had a spear to do that stuff with, so. No, wait a minute. Okay, I had to check. You know, they're green, I thought maybe that's health. And another engine part that I cannot attach at the moment. And that's alright. We'll keep it in our cargo for now. Can I not? There we go. Alrighty. Alright. Level 2. start being a little more aggressive. I have to start maneuvering, being mindful of our movement. Mm. I do like the hammer. I'll keep that for now. But... Uh, okay, hold on. I'll just leave I need to get out of here. Oh. See? See how quickly things can go south. Got slowed down and then ambushed. Oh, man. This is 
same level too. I like how I had this whole thing of, well now, now I know more. And now maybe I can go further. And now I'm like, can't get past the second stage and the second level. That's roguelikes for you, right? Do I have enough? It's so weird. I'm like playing two different... I'm like two different saves kind of a thing. The docked one, I don't have as much crystals on the other one. So yeah, if you didn't see my other video, here are the different models. See like Maybe I'm already kind of warming up to that one a little bit. But, you know, different, like, and maybe this calls to you. Maybe this is like, oh, something about that. You know, I don't know. But certainly, you know, I like a lot. I like what they've done with the paint jobs and a decent amount of variety with them. Like, it's not just, you know. Oh, you can change it green and pink. Like, they got a whole bunch of different ones. Oh, man. I was feeling good. Like, so I got further in my Switch Lite one, but I was thinking, I can do this. I can beat this. But, you know, a little bit of luck. Depends on what you get. But also, how you play it. You know, I should have maybe gone a little bit. I didn't really have to be so aggressive in that level. I should have kept my distance more. But that's what I've grown to appreciate. 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 About Roblox. Isn't it? You know, you have to fail a bunch. Which means you learn. So now I have a little bit more knowledge. And you just build up and you get back out there and you keep swinging away. Because eventually, if I stick to it, if we stick to it, we can beat this. But even if we never reach that goal, as corny as it sounds, as long as that journey is rewarding and fun, that's all that matters. And for me, that's what I appreciate about this game is that it's just fun to play. So if I never beat this game, I'm okay with it because I enjoy it. I enjoy my time with it. And I hope that you've enjoyed your time with me today. But that is all for tonight. Thank you again for joining me. Perhaps we'll get him next time. Anyway, have a good rest of your night.